What type of members, membership plans, exist on Green Directory? So I'm going to talk about both of them because I've seen a couple of cases uh, where people get confused. They they confuse those two, or they start start mixing and matching stuff. So first, you got the membership level, membership plan types. In those types, uh, when you click, let's just click on this one, and um, on the first tab, you see account type for the membership plan. You have free, pay, or claim. Okay, free, pay, or claim. The the difference is basically how they get used or how they are able to join that membership plan. So a free one, it's a free one. They they can join freely. They don't have to pay anything. Pay one, straightforward. You gotta pay before you join. Um. The claim one is where things get a little bit tricky. So claim accounts normally are reserved for email campaigns because you imported 500, 1,000, 2,000. I've had cases where they imported 50,000, 100,000 members. And then they did an email campaign talking about the site so that when they came to the site, they, they would search for themselves, claim their account, join and when you join through a claim account you don't actually join the claim account you actually go from the claim account to any of the other um, membership plans that are available in the join process because you don't need to put all the join um, all the membership levels in the in the join page you can put a couple of free ones for example and then offer the paid ones as an upgrade option so they the, the the user can go in, uh, join for free. They see what the platform offers. They see the value of it, and if they want more of it, they can pay. So you don't put the the pay um, in the in that particular scenario. You wouldn't put the pay membership levels on the join process. So they again they join for free because for example you need the traffic. You don't have nothing on the site. So everybody joins for free. Once you grow it to a certain degree, to a certain point, then you could maybe add a paid option on the on the join page, or simply uh, advertise the for all your members for the free ones that there's a new paid membership level where they can upgrade to. By the way, they they upgrade on their dashboard, so they would see like a like an option here where they can click on the upgrade button and they see the upgrade process. So we're going to do that right now. So you can, you can actually see it. I'm going to downgrade myself because this is a paid one. And you can see that part there. Um, let me let me move myself. Start playing around with all this. And also, let me log out so you can see the, the join page. Okay, so we got this uh, pay a uh, in the free one okay and if i go to the first let me edit myself here well actually this one i'm going to change myself from the the current membership plan that i'm i'm in to something else oh oh Sorry, this is a telecom. This one. Only only the, the, the parent account can change the the sub accounts membership plan. Um let's go to the free with the bronze. Okay, the bronze. We know that the bronze is free. And we want to advertise the bronze here. Okay, only the bronze. So we will go to the join page. Here to the toolbox menu manager, sorry. And we will go to the pricing page. And then we could, I don't want to delete them. So a, a typical trick that I do is I just, you know, the outer class ID, I put hidden. So I don't have to like fill the whole, whole thing there. Just save this. And then I go here. Fresh, and then you see that there's only one. You're like, oh wow, awesome. Okay, so they're forced to 
it's like a funnel they're forced to go to this free one and you can put more information here at the top and you know like a photo or something but they're forced to go to the bronze one and once they join the bronze one and let's do it here i'm here on my account and i'm like oh, okay i'm in the bronze plan i see the upgrade this thing but how did that button get there well when you refresh here so you can see that the actual plan there's a bronze one so you can click here or you can go to finance membership plans and you can click on the bronze one it's the same thing it's going to take you to the same thing so once we're there on this on the first tab that you have open at the bottom there's a section where you say well to which membership plans this mem this membership plan can upgrade or even downgrade to okay so right now i've checked silver plan and this previously was like i think gold or diamond or something and i renamed it to that but you get my point this bronze plan has the option to upgrade to upgrade okay and to which plan they can can they upgrade to well the silver plan or the real software engineers plan now let's say that you want to with a hint with a little bit of you know a push you want to hint them that you want them to actually upgrade to the to the last one to the more expensive one or maybe the more popular one so you select this pre-selected plan uh we save that so then when they're in their dashboard they're like okay oh i see i, I got an email an email campaign about uh, a new membership plan on the site and i'm loving the site i'm loving this site this site is bringing me uh income uh, traffic new clients uh new products etc 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 and they want to upgrade okay so they click on the upgrade button here and based on the options that you selected in the actual membership plan uh, settings it does this so it will automatically select the one that was pre-selected you can see it here at the top but they have the option that they'll be able to visually see all the membership plans that they can upgrade to once they click there continue with the upgrade here's where they pay if they haven't put a credit card here's where it will it'll ask them hey uh, put the credit card if you have a coupon maybe because on the marketing campaign using a coupon you know 50 percent off or something like that they can put the coupon here pump 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 they do their thing and done you now have a new paid membership uh um new paid member okay so that's the upgrade part there um and here you can see that we just did the the join process so it funnels here so again we're making a way so that they join for free but you can have pay other options here i'm just giving you the idea of things that you can do here so you have a free one they join that one but you do not see the paid ones here the paid ones only show if they join already and they're logged in to their account and through their account they see the upgrade listing option here which you can for example if you're in the dashboard you can advertise more with some text here a pop-up saying hey enjoy the i don't know the 30 days that you have to get an upgrade for 70 percent off or something like that okay so coming back that's a relationship between the free and paid now when i'm claim when i'm in the claim level and we're going to turn this into a claim well i can't turn the bronze for the testing purposes that i'm about to do but i'll create a membership plan let's create a new one and we're going to just name it claim and we set it to claim when we set it to claim there's a lot of things that are going to go away and it's very important this this is a question that i always get asked how can people join the claim membership plan they don't join it you add them there you either add them through an import when you went to my members import members or you manually add them on the my members search members and you create one member and you add them there uh, one by one but people get added to the claim account okay to the claim account and when you I'm going to move this one to the, sorry, this one, to that claim account. 
you, you can see what's going to happen. So let's move this one to the claim account, save it. And then let's say that you send uh, um, uh, an email campaign, social media campaign, some, some campaign. And when you do that, you have two options to redirect people to the site. You can either, you can either send them to the homepage or to a search results page and say, uh, we're inviting everybody to this site so that you can search for yourself or enjoy the benefits of the site, blah, 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 this or that. Or, or which is uh, typically my recommendation, is through the database, you extract the specific URL for the member. So that if I'm this, Luis Alvarado, and I click here, I mean, I, I on the email campaign that you sent me, I get a URL, I click on it, and it directly takes me to this account. So I don't have to search for myself. I'm literally seeing myself and all the information that you added for me. Okay. And I'm like, oh, okay, nice. Okay. Let me claim it. This will only show for a claim account. It will only show for a claim account. I click on it. It will automatically take me to the join process where I can see which to which membership levels I can, let's say, upgrade or join with my account, my existing account, the site. So in the process of claiming, I'm not just claiming my account, I'm also claiming in which membership level my member is going to be in. So in this case, it's only showing the, the free one because it's the only one that's on the join process. Okay, you could, in theory, create another join page. Um, let me show you something here. So let's go to uh, finance membership plans. I know there's that this is a lot of information. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be backtracking, seeing the video again. But everything is tied together in one way or another. That's why I'm trying to cover everything related to the member types of membership levels and types of members too. So you have this here, claim listing web link. So when somebody claims somebody, they go to this specific page and you could have created another page where you don't show just the free one, but you also show the paid ones or maybe a special membership level where they can join during a specific time frame. Okay, that, that, that's why I was showing that this, this little part here. So again, during the claim process, I claim the account and then it takes me to a join process where I also tell the system in which membership level I'm going to be joining with my member, with my existing member. So if I click here, it creates, um, starts the process of creating that um, membership level with that specific member. Obviously I'm already logged in, so that's why I'm showing that. Um, so let's, that, that's what the claim is for. It's only for claiming the account. It's not for joining. Nobody can log into a claim member. It will accept your staff and yourself in the back end because you want to add some information to it and all that. But the public in general wouldn't be able to log in with a claim account. They're not, you can't log in basically to them. Um, they are only for claim. They're only for um, looking at the profile and clicking on the claim so you can claim it as your own and you can. Tell the system, I want this um, uh, member to join specific membership plan. That's all that the claim does. The other two variables in regards to the marketing are that you can either extract the URL for the member so they can directly go to this membership, I mean, to this uh, member's uh, public profile, or you don't extract it and they just go directly to the, to the homepage for them to search for themselves either on the search uh, results or on the home page okay and that's it that's everything regarding the three types of membership plans pay free and claim now um there's also the types of members so i'm gonna go to the membership plans um and there's um the typical user which would join the bronze Sil uh, silver, gold, or whatever names you want to put to the free and pay accounts. But then there's two special, well, actually three, three special 
types of users. You have the claim users, which now you know what their limitations are or and what they can do. They're only there for people to claim them. That's all that they do. Then you have the admin or the blogger. This is basically for your staff and yourself. Nobody joins this membership level. They get added to it. Okay. And these are normally the 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 people that actually create the blogs for the site. So you gotta remember that for the features, you have articles and you have blogs. Blogs represent your site, represent um the services that your site offers and anything about the site in general. Articles represent the member. So when a, a member creates an article, it's talking about them and the services that they offer and the ideas that they 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 want to uh, share, etc. And when a blog gets created, it's the site that's offering that information. The blog could be talking about a member. I've seen sites that actually promote a member, or they could be talking about one of the services that they offer or what the whole site is about. That's the different difference between blogs and articles. And normally the ones that are here that you can sign you can sign up to are is the staff and yourself. So they handle that one. And then lastly, you have the general user. So I'm gonna explain what the general user is. It, it's a free account. It's a free and normally the general users are used for two main things. Well actually three to leave comments on discussions, if you're using the discussion feature, to leave reviews uh, for the members, if you, are, if you enable the reviews for that membership plan or those members, and to see the public profile members in the case that you made their public profile membership only or member only kind of thing. Those are the three scenarios where you actually would use a general user. So. When somebody tries to review and they're not logged in, you could ask them, okay, join as a general user just for this and or join as a, as a normal user. What's the difference between a normal user and a general user? General users typically don't show in the search results. So if I add somebody, let me show you here. So I got one general user, sample general user. Okay, beautiful, beautiful sample general user. If I go here, I don't see them. General users don't show here because they're not considered an actual active member of the community that you're building here. They're just there to leave a review or do something with a with a with a member that's there or a product that's there, okay? Or leave a this uh, a comment on a discussion that somebody created, either at the as a staff member of the site or as a member of the actual site. So then you have again, you have the the the, the types of users, again, claim, general user, the admin, which is the staff, and then the typical members and their hierarchy. Okay, free, paid, paid more, something like that. More uh, limited features, a little bit more features, all the features, etc. Okay, so you got those four types of members. And then you have the three types of membership plans claim, free, and paid. It's very important that you distinguish between all, like all those four types of members and the three types of membership plan. You could customize one to behave like another one, but by default they come like that and they give you that idea and flexibility on how you can use them uh, for different scenarios. Okay. So with that, we cover the membership plan types. We cover the type of users. Hopefully this helped you a little bit. You also saw, saw, saw some um, ideas about the flow, about the joining process, about you can high limit um, some of the categories there. And you can stop here the video because what I'm about to say is just ads and blah, blah, blah about my, my team and all that. So here at tourssoftware.com, we do stuff. We program for you, okay? So again, we can do miracles on your site. Uh, if you want to set up a, a site setup online course so, we, so I can analyze your site and audit, basically. Or you want to learn about the platform, it's the 495 that here, uh, this one. If you want to do some extreme SEO on your site, especially with an um, internal SEO optimization, that's what this one's for. And if you want to uh, join as a partner and basically help us, and help you a win-win scenario in the long run, you have the maintenance partner and premium partner. 
I'm just going to say the maintenance partner just optimizes uh, the database, uh, code refactoring. We do a lot of maintenance on the site. We tackle quick fixes. You can ask for small things to be done on the site, and that's all covered there. You, you don't pay anything additional there unless you actually ask for something that's bigger. And for the 975, it's the same thing, but we do a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff, and you don't pay any additional. That's basically what the partnerships are for. We take care of you in the IT department level. You take care of your clients. The end. Um, well, hopefully that that the the information here helped everybody in regards to how to tackle um, uh, the membership plans and the type of members that you can have this site. So think positive and big hug.